Well, hello there, and welcome back to the cantina of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Let's have some fun today. Let's see what we can get done. I just realized I have the sound effects. Turn those back on. It's a lot more fun. And we're good. Okay, so one thing I want to point out, you guys probably know about this already, the credit heist event. It shows up from time to time. Uh, we're not eligible for it yet, but by far the best way to get credits in the early levels of the game. You can get up to, I believe, 5 million, maybe more. That's the most I've ever gotten from it. Um, it's a nice way to just lump some credits into your account. Uh, it doesn't show up very often, but when it does, it's very appreciated. Keep an eye out for that, and that's why you want to. That's why we're doing Boba Fett, and that's why you want to have a couple scoundrels ready to go, bounty hunters, whatever you want. All right, do some dailies. We're doing okay on credits right now ourselves because we don't have to level people up quite as much. We're also being very selective with who we edit. I mean, level up, edit something. Right. Also, promote. We have a few characters we can promote. Obviously, we're not going to do that. Newt's very close. After Newt in the squad store here, I'm going to be going after Greedo for the same reason I'm going after Boba in the cantina. So I recommend for you to do the same. Go Ahsoka first, then Boba. You could go Fives. There's lots of good characters in here. Uh, this is just what I recommend. Then uh, same thing for the squad store. Newt, then Greedo. Uh, for the Galactic War store, what I recommend is Poggle first, of course. And then at some point we'll be going after Cad Bane for sure. Uh, but right now we're really working on ships, which show up at the top here. Particularly Geo ships. Uh, same thing here. We got Geo Spies, Starfighter, probably buy that. But let's see who's available down here first. It is Sunfac. 85. That gives us enough, obviously, to buy this. And enough for two more. So I'm going to go ahead and buy Ahsoka's. I'm not going to buy Ark. I know we're farming that. Not most important ship by any. Take a look down here. We got Sunfac. Again. The ocean. Ready to roll. I know we've talked about this in my Discord server. I'm not sure if we've talked about it on the channel yet. Buying Grievous from this store is not a very good value. It takes a lot of uh, shard currency to get him. And much more valuable. In now, the only problem is he doesn't show up all the time. So a good strategy for you guys, if you're trying to farm someone from the fleet store or the guild store, like low gray. See these timers down here? This one refreshes in 22 minutes and 30 seconds. Figure out when those times are for you and set little alarms in your phone. For me, it's, uh, I believe, uh, 12 noon and then like 3, 6, and 9 maybe. And I don't know exactly when these uh, stores refresh. I think it's every two of those. So it's every like six hours or something. You're going to want to double check that. To catch it when it refreshes, and that way you don't have to spin refreshes, although you could. I've never personally done that. Um, but set those alarms, and just log in real quick, check the store, and if they have what you need, buy it, right? So make sure you're saving enough currency for buying for things that you need. Alright, let's see what else we got here. No, we got energy to spend. Challenges, let's knock those out and get them on cooldown. The credit challenge, nice. Helps us a little bit as well. These gear challenges are very helpful. We should be hitting level 75 in the next, I would say, uh, two to three days. <coughs> Trying to be um, conservative with my estimates. Too excited. Four. Nice. That's pretty good. We're going to just go until Sunfac is all the way. Cute. Ability. Hard bargain. Some Dooku in there. Not bad drops. Get those in every day. We got Spy. We got some... You... Hopefully that puts us in Ahsoka. It... Yeah, but look at his abilities, though. Seven, 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 seven. Nice. We're going to be focusing on abilities first for the... Ago's leader. You know, not super helpful. All right, let's see. Annie? 
I've had some questions about how do I have so many crystals. I do want to remind you guys, this account is completely free to play. I have not spent a dime. That's not how we're getting them. We're also not high rank in Squad Arena at all, which is Squad Arena is your primary uh, source of crystals. Are 2377 so we're way down there uh, this tells you right here how many crystals you get for where you are so if you're in the top place you get 500 if you are where we are you get 40 but we're not getting a lot of crystals from that where we're getting our crystals saving them we're not really spending on that much we do occasional refreshes but other than that we do not spend crystals so uh, we'll do you know a couple refreshes at 50 yesterday we did a lot of refreshes but by and large most of the time we're not getting crystals now you get slight crystals from your dailies you know, maybe a hundred for doing everything. And then you're going to get crystals from battles here and there, like one or two. It just depends. And you can also buy them if you want to do that. Go to the store, go to crystals and purchase crystals. However you want, right? Different levels. Uh, we have not done this and we will not be doing that just because I'm showing you guys a completely free to play account. Keep the, keep the integrity of that. I'm not buying crystals back or anything. You guys are seeing most, probably 80% of what I do on screen. Uh, now it's probably a little less than that. Um, because some of the stuff that goes on is going to be beh uh, behind Patreon as well. So if you want to see literally everything, 100%. It has now become 100% of what I do uh, since Patreon opened. You can head on over there and check that out. All right, we got some arena stuff to do. We do have a little bit more energy to spend. And experimenting with Dooku's lead. It's a lot of fun. Go ahead and do those hive mines. I love those. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. I'm toying with the idea of checking out some mods. Because we have a lot of mods now. See, that's not a bad mod. It costs a lot of money to put that on there. Do we want that on Poggle? That's the... Let's actually put it on Duke. Now, we only have health mods. Since that one has a, uh, a decent speed secondary, I am going to go ahead and level that all the way up to 50. There we go. That turned into 8. You know, costs cost some cash, but get some good rewards for it. In terms of stat boosts and... So, what we're doing when we're selecting mods is uh, select the one you want. Start clicking through, and you're, what you're looking for is a speed secondary. Now, you're not going to see any secondaries on these gray mods. Uh, and obviously, we don't want anything four dots or below, so I'm actually going to take that off of buy. Fix that in a second. Let's do that right now before it forget. Let's quickly go through our main crew, make sure nobody has anything less than a five dot mod. Or here we go. Couple four. M. Cost a little bit of cash to remove them. Just cleaned up first. We're gonna sell them all. So don't worry so much about cash yet. We've been farming those. Not modding any. So let's actually focus on spy first because he needs them. Let's sell, filter, everything, mark one, two, three, and four. Do a brief scroll through to make sure nothing, you didn't check anything wrong, and then just got all that cash we spent back, so really change. Okay, got a circle here. Old one in. Really looking for um, speed secondaries is the main thing you want to be looking for. No speed on that. It doesn't always mean that it's a bad mod when it does not have a speed secondary, but more often than not, it is. Now, the way the colors work, mods are super complicated. I'm going to be at some point putting out like a starter guide for mods for you guys, but I'll quickly tell you what's going on. So no secondaries on the gray ones. As you level them up, you'll see secondaries start to show up. So let's do this. Let's look for like a, I don't know, protection one. Because the circle, by the way, again, further complication. Primary stats, each one of these shapes has different primary stats that can show up here on the square it's always offense the only primary stat you can get here on the diamond only defense 
here on the circle, only health or protection. And then these other three can be a bunch of different. The arrow, uh, more often than not, you want speed. There you go. Because you because it gives you such a big boost. When you level it up to 60, it's 32 speed, which is a huge boost. So speed arrows are super valuable. If you ever see an arrow with the speed primary. Now, it can also have a speed secondary, but that's not as good. You want to go for that speed primary. Okay. And then this one, I know a lot of people go for, like, crit damage, crit chance. Apparently, it can be protection, offense. It can be a few different things. I forget exactly what all of them are. Health, defense. It can be a lot of things. And then the cross as well. It can be a lot. Health, offense. Health, tenacity, potency. It can be a lot of different things. So, but just think. Offense. Go for speed here. Uh, defense, health or protection, and then these two are kind of your wild cards that can be a lot of different. But let's look for some sort of speed arrow here. Plus four speed. There we go. Let's assign this one. Let me show you how this works. You're probably asking, why does it have four speed? You said it have 32. Well, it's not going to have 32 until you 6E it, which means you have to slice it all the way from uh, gray. We'll call it gray. To green, to blue, to purple, to gold. And then once it's gold, you slice it again, then it becomes six dots. So the only way you can get six dots is to slice a gold mod. Now, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, no secondary stats on a gray mod, right? We're going to go up to level three, and you're going to see it gets a secondary stat. We're going to go up to level, I think it's six. You're going to see it gets another one. We're going to go up to nine. It gets another one, and we're going to go up to 12. And finally, we see all of the secondary stats that this mod is going to have. We're going to take it all the way up to 15, and that speed gets maxed out. So your primary stat gets maxed out. So that's the full mod we're looking for. Any gray mod works that way. So you're going to be like, oh, how do I know what has a speed secondary? You don't. That's the point. That's why mods are so hard and so annoying sometimes and, and really, really luck-based. So uh, you could have a, a really cool-looking mod. Let's do, an, let's do another one. I tend to try to start with the, the higher colors so I can see what they have and kind of work my way down. You can go the other way. It just costs a lot more credits, which we do not have a lot of in this account. Here we go. Good speed secondary. Put that on there. And I just like to jack them all the way up to 15. Now, if you want to quickly see what they have, you can just jack them up to 12. That'll tell you, okay, this this mod's crap. And you save some cash doing that. 86 versus 250, right? Five dot mods cost a lot of money to level up. So you could quickly spin 86 and say, oh, I didn't roll a speed secondary. Let's save the other cash and move on to the next mod. That's what most people do. We saw that one had a speed secondary in it already, so we're going to go ahead and move on. Let's take a look at the blue. You just quick, quickly go through and see if anything has a speed secondary. And there was one, and it was four, so that's not bad. I personally, like I said, if I know it has a secondary that I want, I just level it up. Now, what levels, which one of the secondary stats rolls up? So you see we have this health rolled two, these others just rolled one. That is pure luck. So uh, we obviously got pretty unlucky and the speed did not roll up like it did with that Dooku mod that we did first. It rolled up once, so we had two, which made that four eight. Uh, you can roll them all the way up to like in the high 20s, uh, maybe even 30. I'm not sure about that. I think the highest you can get is like 20, 28, 29. But anything over 20 is awesome. Anything in the in the teens is really good. Uh, you know, four, five, anything below 10, mediocre, but better than nothing. Uh, and it's all luck dependent. So is this the best mod? Maybe not. But when we slice it from green to blue, we have another chance to roll these stats. So that could roll speed. When we slice it blue to purple, same thing. Purple to gold, same thing. Gold to 6E. 6E is going to bump it up at least one. See how quickly mods can get uh, pretty complicated. Now this is Spy. So let's give him a crit damage, you know, help him really hit hard. That bumps that crit damage up a few percent. We have no idea what this mod is. Let's go to 12. And just pray we roll a speed secondary. And we didn't. So let's try another one. This is kind of how it works. There's a crit damage. We should probably do this over here before we put them on. We save a little more cash. There we go. We got a speed. Not the best, but we'll roll it again all the way up. And that's fine. A lot of these mods are not going to be great starting out. But we're getting to the point where we can start focusing on these kind of mods. Now I'm going to look for an offense cross. Or any sort of crit related thing. I saw one. I want to make sure now what the mod is. For example, these are all health mods, right? Um, we have mod in here, defense mod. Let's see, that determines your set bonus down here. 
So each each uh, coupling of mods determines different set bonuses. Two health mods together create one set bonus. So if we go for, for all six health mods, we're going to have three health bonuses. And we level them all at 15, we get plus 10%, plus 30% health, which is nice. Now, if I put a defense mod here, because that has offense and I'm not paying attention, well, now I've, I've kind of hurt myself a little bit because... I'm not going to get a set bonus down here because now I have a set bonus of health, a set bonus of health, and then health and defense, which uh, you can do that sometimes. You know, I would encourage you to be strategic about that. Let's just do this one and whatever it is, it is because, you know, we're, we're pretty much out of time today. Didn't get a lot of battles done. All right. So that's that's not bad. Now we see his stats. He's actually got pretty decent speed now. The speed arrow is going to help with that a lot. Decent damage, crit chance, crit, you know, all sorts of cool stuff going on. <coughs> and there you go. That's kind of your crash course to mods. Uh, the reason this is not gold is because we didn't level this one all the way up to 15. Now, still not. Oh, this one here. So you see, just working on Spy with five dot mods, we have spent over a million credits. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Mod doing, you know... Deep mod work really requires a lot of credits. Keep that in mind before you just start you know, running around blowing all your credits on mods, uh, particularly bad mods. But you see, modding him up was enough to make him pass both Dooku and Soldier. So uh, that was good. It really helped him. And, and we made him pretty fast, too. He might actually be faster than Ahsoka. He's 160. Thirty-two. So this tells you right here, she's 132 base. We're adding 39 or... He has a little bit. And the reason I didn't level up these is because I didn't think they were quality enough to spend 250,000 credits on. With Spy, I kind of disregarded that. Some of these, you know, aren't the best, particularly this guy. And the arrow, or the triangle as well. This has speed. I'm fine with that. That has speed. And this is the best. So, anyway, there's kind of your crash course. I know this video was longer than normal. We're going to get in here and finish all of our battles. Uh, head on over to Patreon. The link is in the description below if you want to see everything that goes on today. We're going to be testing out Spy, of course. We're going to be doing Squad Arena, seeing how he holds up uh, with the new mods and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I'm the Star Wars guy. Please subscribe below for more content like this every single day. And I will see you guys in the next video.